Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 36 of Direwolf20's Regrowth Series with Soren. How's it going, Soren? Has it been 36 episodes already? Wow. I know. It's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. So the Bloomery Furnace takes a really long time to make. And a really long time for the process, too. Oh, I know, that's why I'm making a second one. Because <laughs> it's really the only way to get wrought iron ingots. Like, the only way, as far as I can tell. Unless there's, like, a sneaky way to get the wrought iron nuggets or blocks. Nope. It's literally the only option. Boo. I agree. It sounds like the kind of thing that we should automate. Yes. Maybe I'll work on that at some point. I don't know. Dude, this thing's taking forever. Um, we're working on, today, one of the quest lines. We need... Four advanced solar generators. So Soren says we need yep. 15 more solar generators. So 15 of these guys requires... Uh, really, all we need is the uh, enriched alloy at this point. Oh, okay. Right? That's easier. I'll cook that up if you want. I can do it. Oh, okay. you already got it. All right, I got the iron. Oh, you, you do the iron, yeah. Yay. <laughs> together. We work together on things. Mm-hmm. Especially when I have grenades and such. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. Who gave you grenades? I don't know. Blame Soren. Yeah, man, this Blue Murray Furnace takes a really long time to make. To the point where I constantly have to keep checking to make sure it's not broken. But I have a new one. So sand plus iron plus charcoal gets us a second bloomery furnace up and running. Woot. All right. Two Bloomery Furnaces, buddy. Nice. I could probably make a third. Actually, I probably should. And while I'm waiting to make this thing, you should be pretty much ready to go with your stuff, right? Do what? Your solars. Oh, I got them. I missed the context. Uh, is it ready? Almost. Uh, we're just waiting on the enriched alloy to get done. Nice. You're short a few pieces of redstone in here, I think. Like three. Now you have too much! What have you done? I have, I have compressed <laughs> redstone, so... <laughs> I fixed it. Alright. 15 of these guys. Yeah, we just need... Missing 23 enriched alloys. I'm gonna throw another speed upgrade on this thing. Nice. It's gonna bring us up to a total of 6. And we're using 632 RP tick? Like, I just don't care. <laughs> right. I'm putting the last two in. Why not? <laughs> but I'm going to do Price. one more. I'm going to do one more. <laughs> Ten more later. Just one more. <laughs> we're using 1.12 thousand RF per tick. <laughs> I'm oh putting gosh. the last one in. This is the last no. one that we can possibly do. This is 10x speed, <laughs> and uh, we're using 2,000 RF per tick. But it's going really fast now. So there's something to be said for that. What am I going to do with you? I don't know. We we're having energy um, pipe over here. Yeah, we're having some energy pipe issues. We need one diamond pipe. Uh, we need a few diamond pipes. I'll make them. Well, specifically for this junction. Just gonna make half a stack, cause why not? 
Well, I just made a full stack. So there you go. Even better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, you can play to me for making things. I mean, at this point, Soren, did you notice that we have 104 I, stacks mm, of diamond? That, that's not enough. Like, technically, we have less glass than we do diamond. <laughs> this is true. I had to make glass for this. So pretty soon we're going to get to the point where we're going to need diamond everywhere. But for now, I'm just going to run diamond like back here. Because maybe soon we'll have more speed upgrades and then everything will be using 2000 RF a tick. All right, are we good to go here or what? Waiting for the craft. Nice. The last one. Nice. All right, do you know how to put this thing together? Because I did not read. No. Uh, we have a problem. What's that? <laughs> I need four red circuits and four tablets. Great. You need Which more rich enriched stuff iron. Too. I'll take care of the enriched iron. That's the wrought iron one, right? Yeah. It is on its way. I need a lot of them. It's making a lot of them, don't worry. Oh, goodness. All right. I need more coal. <laughs> to get it claim reward <laughs> nice next task i'll do later is the induction uh, okay um so do you know how to build this thing or what i'm gonna defer to chat what no deferring to chat what give me what? the stuff i'll build it do you know how there's instructions in the quest book oh. i can read I didn't even see that. All right. Solar evaporation plants have a 4x4 four four footprint and can be anywhere from 3 to 18 blocks tall. The controller block must be in the top layer, along with the four advanced solar panels, which need to be in the corners of the top layer. Got that so far? Yeah, I don't like the 4x4 four four size, but okay. Um, I'm Sorry. Gonna put it here. You're going to put it there? That's a weird place for it, but okay. <laughs> I'm just showing you how it's this, I feel right? like when you start placing things <laughs> it's like okay 4x4 four four, doesn't matter how tall it says 3 to 18 tall anywhere from 3 to 18 uh, solid or hollow um, other than that except for the bottom layer all layers are hollow Okay. and consist of solar evaporation blocks you will need solar evaporation valves on any face of the plant serving as the input and output of the plant. So the top layer has to have the four advanced things in the top. You want to sleep because this is a solar panel and like, you know, sleep. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe sleep. Sleeping. Yay. I decided we don't need this wall here anymore. <laughs> That's probably good enough for now. We can always make it taller later. For some reason I have weakness. I don't know why. So the controller has to be in the top layer. And then... Um, Like on the side there. Yeah, I, was, I put it in the middle, but now it's not. It's on the first side. What? It's on the top. I don't even see it. Oh, there. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Right controller. here. Okay, I see. Oh, it. Space. Okay. Nice. Okay. 
Uh, so it says it's a complete. And then the four corners on the top have to have the advanced solar panels. Okay. That don't stack. Fancy. Oh, one's, one's rotated wrong. Actually, oh, did they rotate with the wrench? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Now that's better. It still says it's incomplete. Uh, the solar valve can be on any side? I think there should be two of them now. The top layer isn't solid. Oh. It's not? Oh, hello. <laughs> cool. I think it I think it formed, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's formed. Like the, cool. The height seven. Um So you can put brine in there to get liquid lithium. lithium. Or you can water put to water brine. to get brine. Okay. Any idea what this is about? Or duplication. Oh, okay. I mean yeah, if you want I, me I to think... I'm wondering if it's like we just take the solar panels for now and just put them and use them for power generation rather than this. Like that. I'm I'm not objecting to that plan. Do you have any idea how much they produce? Go put them on the ground. Well, they're storing 80 kilo, 240 RF per tick. It says producing max output 240. Yeah. And it's just free energy, no production. As long as it's daytime. Correct. We sleep enough, this. Yeah. I mean, I defer to you. I, I feel like we don't need ore duplication, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like, a lot of my chat's saying, we need it. It's like, no, we don't. <laughs> we have ore. We're done. I mean, this would be good on a survival plot, but we have uh, magical props. Right. Um, so the next quest is induction storage, which is basically a multi-block energy storage. Yes. That sounds cool. That can go from 3x3x4 three by three by up to 18x18x18. 18 by 18 by 18. And you know which one we're doing. 3x3x4? <laughs> uh, three three <gasps> no. Oh. Oh. You know I want to make it big. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to steal these solar panels then. Yeah. Which do not stack. No, Should we like move not. the whole? Can we get rid of the whole solar evaporation thing? Like we're not going to yeah. use it right now, right? All right. Then Here's YouTube will be back summer. in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, believe it or not, I think we're using all our power. Yeah, we are. <laughs> nice. Whoops. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm kind of impressed that we were managed to pull that off. Like, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um. Do you have a wooden kinesis pipe, for chance. Do I have a wooden kinesis pipe by chance? I do. I have weakness again. I don't know what's causing me to have weakness. Do you have weakness? Yes. Wonder what's causing that. To Twitchopedia. <laughs> what's causing our weakness? Why do we have weakness? Uh... Why are we so weak? Too much power. With uh... power comes great weakness. You know what? I'm I'm wondering if that I'm, like legitimately is it. No, actually, I was just kidding. I don't think that's how the quote goes, but okay, <laughs> it's close. <laughs> it sounds ninety percent correct. Producing two eighty three RF per take max output five sixty one. That's interesting. I just boosted our output a little bit, Soren. Okay. I'm also using the energy cube here. Nice. Good plan. This is max output is 20k R. Nice. 20k RF? Yeah. So you're not going to want to use a wooden kinesis pipe for that, probably. Nope. No. That will not probably work. Uh, nice. This thing did its thing. I want to upgrade our smelting factory. Okay. So I'm going to steal it for a minute. So 
So I need two more of these. And another sheet of titanium. That'll do. Nice. Now, just out of curiosity, can I upgrade it again? Nope, the lead is the top tier. Oh, so we're in luck. What? Oh, goodness. Seven stacks at a time. That's absurd. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is a little bit. If it wasn't this pack, I'd be upset. But this one's like, okay, it's fine. I know, right? That's pretty cool, though. I'll take yeah. it. All right, we'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, continuing to craft and getting all the components we need for this multi-block energy storage device. So that's the 16 induction casings we need. Then we need induction ports. Which needs the casings. Okay. And two elite. Oh boy, I crashed. What have you done? I don't know. Well, I I'll get the circuits. Question mark. Did you make the two elites? I'm making the circuits now. We don't have enough gold. Oh boy, hold on, I can't log in. Well, I can log in, but every time I try and access that thing, it's like, no, I don't think so. Which thing? The bottom crafting grid. <laughs> it happened yeah, to no. you too. <laughs> Easy solution. <laughs> Just remove it, and it starts crashing the entire server. <laughs> I removed it. Okay. Weird. Yeah. Um, what's funny is, oh, there it is. Okay. Hopefully when I put it back, it doesn't retain its... Okay, cool. Um, let me try and do this manually then. So induction port is induction casings around the elite control circuit. Didn't you say you made the elite control circuits? No, I'm making them now. We need the gold in the assembly table. Oh, well, we need bronze, don't we? Well, we also need the circuit. Yeah, we need that circuit board too. Yeah. Do we have any more bronze laying around? Uh, we have a very not. small amount. Uh, I'm going to go take a stack. What is it? Three copper and one tin? Yes. Right. Uh, you can actually make bronze with metallurgic confuser. I saw that, but it needs to be dust, doesn't it? Which isn't yeah, terrible, Richmond, I though. guess. Um, it's one tin dust to one copper ingot? Yeah, it's one to one. Interesting. Let's try it. Um, so tin dust is made in the enrichment, right? Okay, apparently that bug's been fixed in dev too. Oh, cool. Is it gonna let me craft it manually? I, we'll find out in a second. We will indeed. Uh, I like that uh, seven smelting thing. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's so crazy. All right, there you go. All 
All right, this thing should and in theory. has been made. Nice. That will work. Cool. It does the ore dictionarying. All right, so you got the two elite circuits? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to try and... Well, there's only one in there. Oh, we only need one. All right, guys, so there's a bug with crafting for an elite circuit to induction port. So... One, two, delete this, delete that. Crisis averted, I've got induction ports. You got them? I got them, I just have one concern. Uh-oh. Guess what? What's that? It's a crafting quest. You are... <laughs> <laughs> Why would you auto-craft that? <laughs> what? All of these are almost crafting quests. I know. <laughs> so the problem becomes that we can't craft it. Yeah, there's an update that Phoenix has, but we just need to have it. Yes. So Don't work out the rest of it. That's all right. Don't rush, Phoenix. I know you're watching Sword and Stream. Don't rush. I can just, like, there's a command I can use to mark the quest complete. So I'll do that once oh, really? I figure out what it is. Yeah, there's like a op book or something nice basic induction spell basic induction provider actually i want to see if there's a non-basic so there's basic induction cell advanced induction cell and elite induction cell it's interesting and the same for providers i guess i'll do the basics right so hey good news basics don't require things that are bad they do require a basic energy cube though not so bad why do we not have a lot of these by now did you get a rota rotary condensator oh my gosh a what? <laughs> Look at Rotary. <laughs> I need that machine. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, that's a quest fix. that I didn't do yet, I believe. Ah, okay. So we'll need that to get the induction thing. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Circuits. We're going to need a few more of those. So. That doesn't look too bad, Soren. I can make one of those. We also need to sleep. Uh, do we? So then we're going to need a gas tank. Should be easy. Just need more steel plates, which should be here. Glass, can I uh, talk to you upstream real fast? Oh, yeah. Uh, give me a second. User left your channel. User left your channel. Okay. I've got that machine that you wanted, Soren. Oh, nice. Uh, and I think that's a quest completion for me. Yep. I have three of those machines. I will put them all we in the AD system. We have many of those machines. We have five now. <laughs> I'm gonna want like 10 of these. Oh, more osmium plates, really? All 
All right, back to what I was working on here, which is induction cell and induction provider. So the basic induction cell requires a basic energy tube, cube, which requires steel casings, which we'll probably need a few of. Sheet of titanium. Oh good, we have some there. So I feel like we're gonna need more titanium relatively soon-ish. Yes. Okay, and then I need lithium dust. Oh, so we need lithium dust. Yeah, that's what I'm working. Chemical crystallizer? Need... Did you know you needed a chemical crystallizer? Yeah. Okay. I don't have that yet. But... Do you want me to make one of those? If you don't mind. I could probably work on it. Currently changing things to brine. I'm gonna have to switch this over to not Brian. Make lithium. Chemical crystallizer requires two ultimate control circuits. Holy cow. Alright, you just know how to craft them, so. It does, but we need more golden chipsets, more bronze, more tin, more enriched alloys. Alright, guys, we'll be back in a minute once I get some crafting done. Alright, guys, we're back. And I think we can make a chemical crystallizer now. Portable tank, electric chest. I literally just made one of these. I know I just made one of these. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. I must be going crazy. All right, Soren, I've got the chemical crystallizer. How's your solar production farm thing going? Um, so you're turning water into brine, correct? Yeah, then I have to turn that into lithium. Oh, I see. Um, cool. So you're pumping water into here. Is the water kind of slow coming in or what? It just processes it really fast. Gotcha. There is a pump goes, from Mechanism. I don't know how good it is by comparison. Do you want me to make one real quick and try it? Yeah. People keep asking me about that. So. No idea how it works, but well, I'll bring it on up. We'll figure it out. Cool. No fluid. Maybe it needs to be on top of the water. That's what I'm thinking. No fluid. Maybe it needs to be in the water? Maybe. No fluid. All right, back in a minute. All right, we're back. All right, so you just need to put power in there. Yeah. Oh, okay, easy enough. Sweet. That's interesting. You think that's faster than the BC pump or no? It does about a, a bucket, maybe half a second. Maybe a second within that range. Yeah, I think gotcha. it's about on par. It's just easier to maintain okay. because you don't have to worry about like four engines on it. Right. All right. However, so now you've. Uh... Oh yeah. Actually, it seems. Are you sure it's doing a bucket's worth? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. 
It does take upgrades, by the way. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, it only it doesn't. I don't know that it supports the speed upgrade though. Okay. So now what? You're pumping Brian into now the tank. We're gonna pump it back in. Okay. And that'll turn into lithium. Nice. And then the lithium you're gonna pump out. Yep. So if we had two of these, it'd be much easier. But I don't want to make four solar panels again. Yeah, that was uh, pricey. Um, cool. Well, oh, okay. It it's I got gotcha. you. All right, so now I've got a chemical crystallizer. Can I steal this fluid tank of lithium? Yes. I'll get more brine. I'll just put this on the line somewhere over here, somewhere. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Chemical crystallizer. So that thing gets power. And I think I just need some pipes. I will also need to sleep. <laughs> yes. Do you have any liquid pipes on you? I do. All right, cool. When I come down to sleep, I will snag one. I'm in bed. All right, hook me up with a few pipes. Seems like every time we sleep, we get weakness. Does that make sense? Maybe. What did you do? It seems on par. Side config, gases. Maybe the bottom it has to be. Oh, this has to be a gas, right? I need the gas one. Yeah, that's the rotary thing. Here, I have one on me. No, I, I, I have some. Actually, I had some on me the whole time. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's gas to liquid? Yeah, yeah. So you need to pipe that correctly. So it's a liquid. We need to rotate this. So if you get the pumping correctly. It, it says good. liquid. It... There, no, it needs regular lithium for the chemical crystallizer, not liquid lithium. Right, but we make liquid lithium. And it I... goes from liquid to gas. No, I, I need solid lithium dust, which I get from gaseous lithium so i think i just do right. this but it's not a gas it's a liquid right now oh wait okay yeah it's a I liquid lithium saying. right now right okay got it got it got it got it so let's go put this something like downstairs maybe i was very confused for like a good minute there it's like, I, I'm trying to explain this. I know. All right, so we need the chemical crystallizer and the rotary condensator. So we want the liquid to go into this. I wonder if it'll auto output its liquid. I think so. So we need it decondensating. Hydrogen to liquid. Yes, that's what we want. We want that. Okay. So then if we put this here, and we put a mechanical pipe here, 
He goes on the side with the liquid. Am I doing this wrong, Soren? I was, yeah. Toggle operation, yeah. All right, liquid lithium now, and now that's going into here, and it's making lithium dust. It nice. is so weird that it's like backwards, it's right to left. Yeah, I got it now. So yeah. It threw me off when I was looking in the eye. We made, we made, we made lithium dust, Soren. Yeah. Nice. All right, we'll be back in a minute, guys, while this processes. All right, guys, while this process is, I think what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here, and we will come back next time and uh, see what other crazy stuff we can do with this thing. So you're making more liquid lithium up here, Soren? Yep. Okay. Um, cool. That works. I'm sure there's a way we could automate it with just one solar evaporation controller, but I guess what you're doing is fine. Yeah, it's a little tedious right now. Yeah. I mean... We have a lot of the, well, yeah, the solar panels is the thing that stinks about it. Yeah, we have, everything else we have multiple of. We only need right. one, or I guess two, and put up with. What I would do is maybe fill up, like, multiple fluid tanks. Like, get, like, ten fluid tanks, right, and just fill them all up. Yeah. And then walk away from them, you know. In fact, I'll do that now for you. Um, how much do these portable tanks hold, by the way? Do you know? 16 buckets. Oh. The, no, like, the ones from Mechanism? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. 14 buckets. Nice. All right, yeah, so we'll wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We will do more Mechanism. We will do more Witchery, and we do have to eventually get the bees. But for now, Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.